Hello again guys, welcome to another tutorial video with me Nani. So today we're going to learn how to do for understand or as known as pinjam yurasana. So pinjam yurasana require flexibility in the hamstring, soldiers and upper back. So if you don't have those flexibility then you're not ready for pinjam yurasana. But wait, I have some tip for you. Or maybe you already practice pinjam yurasana but no matter how hard you try to kick the leg, but your leg cannot come through. Your leg keeps falling back because your shoulders and your upper back is not that flexible. Or maybe you're still learning to do pinjama yurasana. This technique is safe for you because you gain control of the leg. Either fall to the front or fall to the back. So you will not scare that your leg will fall to the front of your body. So wall not needed. So let's get started. Before getting into the pose, we need to do some preparation for us to build the comfort and strength in soldiers and upper back. So the first pose that we need to do is plank following by forearm plank and then down dog following by dolphin down dog. So plank, stay here for your breath. And then forearm plank, stay here for your breath. And back to plank, stay here for your breath. And then forearm plank. So do this pose as much as you can until you feel comfortable to do forearm stand. And then from here, set to down dog. And then dolphin down dog. And then back to down dog. And then drop in down dog. And then down dog. Do this as much as you can until you feel comfortable to do for arm stand. And then the next step that we need to do is from drop in down dog. So like this. And then from here, also make sure that your elbow is soldier wide apart. And then from here, walk your feet toward your Half until you don't walk anymore and bring your face closer to the mat and lift one leg up and the other will come as well so this way you don't have to worry that your leg will fall to the front Okay, so do that for a few time until finally you get enough strength on your shoulders and upper back. So let's do one more time. Alright, and let's try if we can do it the other way. So before we face to the front and now we're going to try with face to the back. So before like this, right? And now we're going to do like this. And walk the feet toward the head until you cannot walk anymore. And then bring the head closer to the mat, like in headstand. And then lift one leg up and the other up as well. Alright. 
So, it was like in hard stand, but we not support the heart. The heart just, just resting a little on the mat. Let's do one more time. Flexible and strength on your shoulders and upper back, and then by that time you will able to perform proper for armstand. So that's all for this video. I hope you like it, and please hit the like button if you do so. And please share it to others if you think this video is beneficial and useful. And please write down in the comment what you think of this video and what you want to see on next video. And lastly, if you're new to this channel, please consider to subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good day to you all. See you on the next video.